So registering for classes is fairly easy at LCC. So when you get to Banner, the first time you're going to log in, you're going to be using your TUID. But you're, instead of a password, you're going to be using a PIN. This is a six-digit number. And if you haven't logged into this before, it'll, your default PIN will be based on your birth date, month, month, day, day, and the last two digits of your year. So if your birthday is March 15, 1990, your, your PIN will be 031590. We've already activated our account, so we're going to go ahead and get logged in. And so once we enter, we'll see that we have a couple of tabs across the top, personal information, student, and financial aid if you have applied for financial aid. The menus currently match the tabs. The tabs will always stay there to help you be able to navigate back. So let's take a quick look in personal information. See in here, we'll be able to update our address, do any name changes, or change our PIN in the future if we need to. Let's take a quick look if you're a financial aid student. This is where you're going to find all of your financial aid records. So to register for classes, we're going to go ahead and click on the student tab. You'll see that we have the option of registration, student records, and student account. So to register, we're going to go ahead and click on registration. Those are a couple of pre-registration tasks that you can do any time before you start to register for classes. You see those can include verifying your address, looking for any holds. We're going to go ahead and click on Continue to Registration. And in there, we'll see that we have four steps to registration. So you need to complete all four steps in order to save your seats. So, okay, first step is add or drop classes. We're going to go ahead and get started with that. And this is pretty important to know. So we'll see that uh, your payment date on the right-hand side is dependent on when you register for classes. So if you happen to register for classes within a certain week, your payment due date will be on the right-hand side. You need to complete all four steps before the payment due date in order to make sure that you save your seats. If you don't finish all four steps, the computer will release those seats to other students. And at the bottom, we're going to select a term for which we're registering for classes. In this case, it's summer 2012. So we'll make sure that that's selected properly. And then we're going to hit the Submit button at the bottom. And this is where we're going to do our class search. Please ignore the CRN fields. You do not need to use these, and in fact, it's a really bad way to register for classes. The most appropriate way to register for classes is by clicking Class Search. It'll show you the most up-to-date schedule of what classes still have seats. Once we click Class Search, it's going to bring you to the Subject field. This is where you will select the class subject of what you're taking. We're going to demonstrate using Student Development, which is a class focused on study skills, money management, career prospects. So we're going to go ahead and arrow down to Student Development by clicking S. And then we'll arrow the rest of our way down. And we are going to use Course Search to see what courses are available in Student Development. And this will show you all the classes that are under the subject of Student Development. So we're looking at the first year experience, which is 101. And we can click View Sections, and it'll show us all the classes that are open. And so the first thing to note on this is that with on the left-hand side, if you see a box that you can check, that means there's a seat open in the class. If you happen to see a C, it means that the class is currently full. There's no seats left at this point. And there may be a chance that if someone drops out of that class that you'll be able to come back later. Now we also want to focus on a couple of columns here. First is CMP. That stands for Campus. Banner will show online classes at the top of a page, followed by Main Campus, followed by any of our Extension Centers and West Campus. And so if you're looking for an online class, you're going to look for Campus ON for Main M. WC would stand for West Campus, and the other abbreviations for St. John's and Livingston are on the screen now. It's also important to look at what days the class is offered. The information on your screen will show you that M is for Monday, T is for Tuesday, W is for Wednesday, R is for Thursday, and F is for Friday. The next column over is what time the class is available. 
And then I want you to look over at the date column on the right hand side. Not all of our classes are from the same dates. Some of our classes are only for the first eight weeks. Some of them are for the last eight weeks. It's important to look at what date the class is offered so that you know when you're going to be in class. And then the last column is location. We've already talked a little bit about understanding the campuses, but this will show you your classrooms for your main campus classes. It will also confirm that it's an online class. So we've talked about online, we've talked about in-person classes. Well, what about hybrid classes? Well, the bottom class on this screen is a hybrid class. We can take a look at the date, and it shows that the class is from 6, 10 p.m. to 8 p.m., but right underneath it, it says that it is a TBA. So that means that part of the class is in person, part of it is online. We can confirm that by looking at the location where the first part of the class line says MB223, which is a classroom, and the second location says online. So you'll be spending 50% of your time in class and 50% online. Hope this helps make things a little bit clearer. We're going to go ahead and click on a class to register. We're going to click the box, and then we're going to click the button register. And there's no fireworks, no amazing aha moments. It's going to just simply save us a seat until we're done with the four-step process. Now, if you want to add more classes, you'll go back to class search and continue the process. If you're ready to look at your class schedule, we're going to click on the bottom right where it says continue to class schedule. And that's step two. And this is a great opportunity for you to print off your schedule to hand to an employer, a significant other. Also put it off and bring it with you the first day so that you remember where your classes are located. The next step is to look at what you owe. So we're going to go ahead and click that link now. And this will bring you to a page that shows you what your full uh, tuition bill is for the semester. All you need to do at this page is look at this. And the next step is to select how we are going to pay the bill. So we have an option that says continue to select payment options. And this will bring you up once again to the due date information. And LCC has four ways that you can pay for classes. The first two, cash and check, can be paid at the student finance office. You need to pay before the due date in order to complete all four steps. The second option on there is to pay by credit card. If you're paying your balance in full by credit card, you can pay with any major credit card carrier. You can do that online. Once again, you have to pay the bill in full by the due date in order to use that option. The fourth option, which is for most financial aid students, is the payment plan. Select that, and it's going to end up moving you into the next uh, series of slides here. More of this will be covered in the financial aid video. So it'll show you the bill under the payment plan, and then you're just going to go ahead and select the Sign Up for a Payment Plan button, and that'll take you through the rest of your steps. Make sure you do have your credit card and bank account information ready before you start this. There's no way to stop in the middle of, of registering for a payment plan.